Robert Lackey is a tough nut to crack, man. He's a wild, interesting man. My father was um, mischievous, shall we say. I was kicked out of high school fairly regularly, and uh, I would get out of the Passaic River with my dog and smoke cigarettes and watch the uh, oil barge traffic. Robert Lecky, out of high school, joined up the Marines, thinking that he would be able to incorporate his life into words later on. He literally wanted to take his typewriter with him. He's fighting an unfamiliar enemy on unfamiliar territory in an unfamiliar terrain, a place that actually makes no sense whatsoever. We've been swallowed by the jungle and 5,000 Japs waiting to kill us. I think Leckie is the most complicated. Robert Leckie was one of the platoon, and he was a good Marine, and particularly the night of the Battle of the Tenero. There are thousands of them. The whole damn Japanese Empire. August 7th, 1942, when we landed on Guadalcanal. Set in along here, watch the opposite bank. What was called the Ichiki Detachment, it was supposed to be a crack detachment. They attacked my battalion on the Tenero River. On Guadalcanal, on the first taste of real face to face combat, a lot of American men were very taken at the fierceness of it. The Japanese generals sent waves and waves of soldiers into the gunfire, being slaughtered. We killed them all about 2,200 men or more. We lost 26. That came to be known as the Battle of the Tenere River. To know that they were up to the task, and then the shock to really sit there the next day and, and to look at what happened. I mean, we, 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 we chewed them up. They just kept on coming. A real turkey shoot. Lucky. It was rough. Lecky says at one point in his book, I forgot the war. That's how bad it was. I forgot the war. My battle was with myself. My battle was with this environment. My battle was to stay sane. I heard a man talking about how you pray for death every day. Because nothing could be as bad as being there. The enemy, for them, is the jungle, the weather, the mud. And it kills. He wake up every day and please today let it be the day I get shot. World War was the defining moment in his life. It was always there. My dad died of Alzheimer's in 2001, towards the end, even where he had forgotten all of us. He never forgot being in the Pacific 